I think 90 something percent of our problems that we perceive are some horrible thing that's hunting us down and some, you know, I'm being attacked by life could literally be solved by changing our food, our water and our rest and our environment. Like, okay. The next thing that I do is, and I, listen, I hate telling people who come to me for um, some information about depression this, but I have to because it's true. I hate it too. I move. I exercise. So the next thing I do to manage my depression is I move. Now, I know you want to lay in the bed wrapped up in the burrito. I know. But the best thing you could do is move. You know why? Because, well, there are lots of reasons why, but one of the minimal reasons is movement releases all kinds of feel-good hormones in your body. So even though I hate telling anyone who asks me what to do when they're depressed, that exercise and movement is a thing that they need to start doing, it just is, I'm, I'm sorry, girl. And I know you're depressed and you don't want to move. I know. But pitch yourself out that burrito, okay? Flop your little body out that burrito, okay? And if all you do is walk laps around your living room, if that's all you could do, okay? But you got to move. If you have a treadmill, jump on it. If you have a neighborhood, go walk in it. If you have a Zumba class, go to it. If you like to dance around your kitchen, do that. If you haven't been going to the gym, but you've been paying, go there. Like, Do anything to move your body. Pull up something on YouTube, do some flow. It will help you. Try your best to have a consistent practice. Um, it helps. I, I, Like I said, I hate saying it. It helps. Okay, I was at the gym yesterday morning at 8 in the morning. Do you think I wanted to be at the gym yesterday morning at 8 in the morning? No, I did not. Okay, but I move my body as a prescriptive, um, like, uh, what do you call that? I move my body because it's healthy and all of those things. But it's like a, what do you call it? Preemptive. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a preemptive strike. So I don't get depressed. And then I came back from the gym and had the audacity to do a little 20 minute jaunt, walk around the neighborhood because the weather was so nice. Popped that podcast in my ear and got the trips and all over the place. Okay. Pulled up some of the houses that are for sale, um, wrote them down in my phone and then pull them up on Zillow stock them on Zillow when I got back home, like a normal person would. Okay. So move your body. And let me say this. If you are in the deepest depressed state and you just heard me say that, and you just like, now girl, you must have never been depressed because I can't move. I understand. And I would say, do one thing. That's what I would say to you. If you are rolled up in the darkness of your room, your room is a junky mess and you are in the depression room, burrito, darkness, deep pit. The woe is me, what is the point pit? And you are listening to me. Get up, take a shower, get dressed. You don't even have to get cute dressed. Put on some fresh clothes. Just do something. And when you do that something, see how you feel. Make me that promise. You will get out of the burrito. You will go into the bathroom and take a shower, brush your teeth, and put on some clean clothes. Okay? Intentional sun exposure also is very beneficial for elevating mood. So remember when I told you if you're in the deep darkness of the pit, if you're in the burrito and you get up and you shower and you dress, if you want to do one, extra thing sis like sis if you want to do one more extra thing go sit out in the sun open the garage door sit it girl sit on your driveway you know that patio you don't use just go sit outside trust me the way that our bodies are are created to work with the sun getting sunlight actual real sunlight from the sun is best into your eyes and on as much skin as possible, but as much skin as uh, as possible does something to the chemicals in your body and it helps your sleep. Like I told you guys last week, it also helps elevate your mood, right? If you think I'm talking right to you, I have a coaching membership, the Pineapple Crowns coaching membership for black and West Indian women on a healing journey. Okay.
If I sound like what I'm talking about is right to you, thepineapplecrowns.com, come and join me. There are links to other things that are wonderful gifts for you in the information box. Check them out. Amen. Be well, be encouraged. Okay. Keep healing, you guys. Here's your pineapple. Bye, y'all.